a drama in Nigeria's parliament as lawmakers have invited the nation's finance ministry to come out clean on the sum of about 206 billion naira found to be inserted into the budget of the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management. Lawmakers during approval of the ministry's 2022 budget performance and 2023 proposal are demanding exposed expenditure details of the funds expected to be borrowed from the World Bank. They express shock as the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs could not give details of how the funds should be expended. New Central's Ahmedin Uyi reports. Worried over Nigeria's rising debt profile, Nigeria's parliament at one of its recent budget probe sessions began the probe of the budget of the Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management. Lawmakers say there is a need to ensure everything is done to reduce the nation's debt profile. We cannot continue to borrow money and plunge this country into debt for our children and our grandchildren and our great-grandchildren to come and pay without investing in what they will see. The committee, while probing the budget proposal, sought to know projects expected to be implemented as the ministry seeks to borrow over 200 billion naira from the World Bank. In 2023, you intend to borrow 206 billion naira for this same project. What are the projects actually to be implemented in that? Is it captured? in the medium-term expenditure framework MDEF? If it is, are there specific projects, project location activities attached to this? We want to know. Thank you. The Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Disaster Management admitted the funds were not inserted by the Ministry and therefore she could not provide any details to the committee. Which was not released, and we said part of it is for the NAFS project and part for the NPC. Uh, money was not released, and now we have seen it occurring by almost ten falls, and we are going to also clarify from the Federal Ministry of Finance to know why this uh, increase, despite the fact that in the previous year the money was not even released for the project. So. We get the details and then send to you on that. And then the, the committee resolved to invite the Minister of Finance for more explanations over the issue. Now that the Minister has said that she is not in charge of negotiation, of course she is not. The Minister of Finance is. We invite the Minister of Finance to appear before this committee so that she tell this committee what he intends to do with this 206 billion era in 2023. Amadin Uyi, reporting from New Central.